My name is Sarah Kajiri Peters Esquay. I am a senior state counsel at the Ministry of Justice. So in the Ministry of Justice, I'm a prosecutor. That means we prosecute all the criminal cases in Kaduna State. Most of the criminal cases, as well as drafters, we draft the laws. So we drafted the VAB law in Kaduna State that we have 2018. So this VAB law is very vital and very important. We deem it fit, I, I congratulate the organizers of this uh, workshop, this training. It's just to create awareness and sensitize the, the judicial officer, mostly the customary court judges and their registrars. Those are the entry points where uh, complaints are being made through the registrars when they come on GBV cases. It's very vital. You know, this uh, verb law is the provision against persons, um, uh, violence against persons prohibition law 2018. And that law just seeks to prohibit all forms of violence against human beings, the existence of human beings, whether women, children, men, in all forms, all kinds of violence down to abandonment, sexual assault, psychological and emotional, you know, offenses that are perpetrated against an individual, they're mostly women. So we just feel, or these organizers feel that if the customary court judges and as well as their registrars are aware of this law, they'll be able to know where to apply it when such cases are brought before them. Because they are the entry point. They are the ones that are close to the people, to the community, to the society. And most of this uh, gender-based violence are perpetrated in these various communities. So they have contact with them daily and they deal with much of these cases. So you see them being aware of this law and then implementing it will go a long way, helping the citizens of the state, helping the citizens of Kaduna State. It's going to even help us in the Ministry of Justice because we, we deal with most of the larger offenses, the capital offenses, but they are the magistrate, are the ones that come in contact with these day-to-day -day, um, cases, domestic cases that come around. So that's why we feel that the need for them to be sensitized, for them to be trained, and then for them to be aware of this law is very vital because they can apply it when the cases have been brought to them. Which case which offense for each and which um, sentences that will be appropriate which the judges are aware and they have it handy each time any complaint comes or any victim comes to complain about their right being violated they will know which law will be applicable at each time so it's very vital and very necessary and that's why we're shouting at all magistrates customary court judges you um, um high court judges this law is very important it comes it covers up for the lacuna for the penal code which is the penal code law it covers up for the lacuna of even the child welfare and protection law we have it in Cardinal State. It covers it covers the lacuna for other laws which are in the state that didn't take particular details to some certain salient issues that are happening within the community. So it's a recent law, is in tandem with what is happening and to solve the problem if it is being implemented and applied by most of these judges and their courts.